Oh man, it's cold outside. It was like 78 yesterday. It's fucking like 30 this morning. Holy shit. I'm ready to fucking solve some crimes. I don't know why this keeps like saying it's got something to update or something. A little annoying. How do you tell your body how to move? How well your body is built? How your power to influence others? Capacity to reason. I thought I had five for one of these. I, I've got a minus one somewhere. Suggestion. That can't be it. Silver flare. Wow, that is at zero for certain. It's weird. I thought one of these was at four. Or, I mean, five. Huh. Four, four, two, two seems lame. Oh, is it just because I had to even them all out because I didn't want any of them to be at one so I don't die immediately? That was probably it. Anyways, back to like, fucking examining this bullshit. Looking him in the eye, his eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protru protruding comically from their sockets. There's no one home, just a subaquatic terror is there. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The the death's head, the death, death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mass. Tell me, who are you, dead man? Fuck my face. The corpse is dead silent. You have no idea why you just said that. Fair enough. Who is he? He is male, 40 to 50, with an athletic build. Tell me who you are, dead man. Back off. Tell me who you are, dead man. Okay, so okay, so if I put more points into it, I can do it again. Squint and take a step back. You squint and take a step back. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled. In the first hours before this, the first hours post mortem, you can use it to see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does this? Does his position and time of death match the discoloration? The lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue, his fetid hands, thighs, and his neck just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in cold spring. So wait, this is a trick. Pink is where the blood has settled in. His face and hands are pink, thighs too. Da -da 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 sure. I see it. He adjusts his glasses. His neck to the livid did goes right up to his chin. We have good, well pronounced discoloration here. Relax your eyes. The monster comes back into focus. An explosion of color, coursing with dark marbled veins. His stomach appears pregnant with something. Black liquid stems down his thighs and to his boot. So what do you think? I think he's dead. I think he was upright after his death. His hands, feet, and neck are discolored. Covered, you know, something's coming out of him. He's beaten. See the bruises. Yeah, he's beaten. See the bruises. I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. The delinquents. Yeah. Yeah, no fucking shit. Stop talking result in Riddle's coin slot. He means you fucked him up good, Kuno. The girl yells, fucked him up brutal-like. Jesus Christ. Um... I think he was upright after death. His hands and feet and neck are discolored. Something is coming out of him. A pool of blood and feces is eaten into the frozen mud below the man's feet. Purge liquid is dripping into it, drop by drop. So this is a real thing. People actually just shit themselves when they die. The victim appears to have contained more than half a kilogram of digestion. I mean, I guess you gotta get it out, don't you? That sort of makes sense. The fuck you be saying? The fuck? <laughs> Talking about shit, we got lucky. Maybe he went to the toilet sometime around death. Goddamn right, I'm a faggot turn around and yeah. Fuck it, I'll yell at him. Malicious laughter erupts in the yard, sounds like seagulls. Pig says he's a f <laughs> Lieutenant's face is made of stone. He doesn't give a shit. Um... I think he was upright after his death. His hands and feet are neck are discolored. Agreed, he points to the belt, especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet keeping the blood in, oh, in his head. The hypostasis supports a hanging. Could still be he was moved after death. Could be maybe he was strangled by somebody. Could be he was moved after death. There's always a chance we should check the ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. Alright, I think he's fucking dead. I agree. His personality is no longer a part of the world. What is conceptualization? Whatever. Totally dead. 
The world no longer stores his personality in its com composition. There was a time for that, and it ended seven days ago. It's better to not say that too heavy. Totally, this buster's not coming back. Did he, did he, did, 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 did. What is dead anyways? Let's just say totally. Absolutely. Back off and catch my breath. Uh, there's no breath to catch. Only the cadaver filling your air and your nostrils. He slowly rotates for you. Do you. How do these kids hang out here? Like, what the fuck? So how do we get him down? He stops to think and then checks his notes. Are you sure we finished the preliminary explanation of the cadaver? We might miss one of those things once he's down. Uh, all right, step back. Well, so... And then Empire 5, excuse me. What the fuck is this? Alright, hang on, I need to put my fucking phone on silent. Hose be blowing up my phone. Um, so if we put another point into it, will you, see, look at this, look at this. It's, that implies I've got something to do, but I don't. You troll, stop it. Um, so, how do I earn... It wants me to put another point into Inland Empire, which I'm guessing might be difficult to do. Oh, that was my bonus one, too. I don't really want to do that. Wait, maybe that wasn't my bonus one. Alright. You know what? I don't even want to do it. That's got enough points in it. Fuck it. 70 experience. Alright. Uh, hmm, the Steel Reinforced Belt. Presents a unique challenge. I bought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle approach to the belt. Hang on a second there, Kim. Got a quick little level up here. Don't let the world kill you. So I'm guessing this just makes it go up one, right? Is that just how it works? I can make any of these go up one? And there's no difference between adding one to one that's at zero and adding one that's one to five. Is it harder or anything? Do you need more levels? Oh, oh, yeah, you might need more. You might need to put in. Okay, so it's like you got to put in five to do that. All right, well, then I think I am going to. Do I have to hurt me more? Fuck it. Oh, I guess you don't have to do that. Could that be the max amount of points you can put in it? That would make sense. Except changes in clothes. Hmm, uh, da, 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 da. He doesn't actually think the challenge is unique. He thinks it's frustrating, annoying, and harder than he thought. Uh, the caver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither of us can reach the belt without assistance, and he wouldn't do. There's a question of cutting the airship material. I wonder if we could get the kids to do it. Maybe we could shoot them down. Maybe we could ask for help with the harbors. We could sell the branch. Can somebody else do it? Someone else? He positive? You mean like the police? I mean someone who's below a detective. Someone pit like a paid garbage man or a cleaning crew? I have bad news for you. That is a detective. Um, let's get the fucking kids. Let's get the fucking kids to do this. Maybe we could ask for help from the harbor. We could saw down the branch. Climb up there and saw the branch. Yeah, that seems dangerous. Uh, maybe we could shoot him down. Maybe we could shoot him down. Yeah, the enthusiasm is understanding. Bang, bang, time pig, shoot his head off. Okay. How? Uh, where the buckle ties the rope to the branch, that's a good spot. We can actually do this. Holy shit. Uh, there, the buckle holds the belt together. Where? He corrects his glasses. Oh, yes, I see. If the shot hits there, it might be a chance to release the belt. Yeah, now we're talking in a king tuna with some shit. Shut the fuck up. They'll miss. The pigs will miss, Kuno. Take the shot, Lieutenant. What's the worst that happened? Actually, don't do it. This is a bad idea. Wait, wait. let me try. I don't know. <sighs> let me try. The man's brow is furrowed. He appears to be deep in concentration. He even knows what you said. Um, say nothing. Let him choose. Silence. With a, his elbow sharp, Lieutenant unzips his jacket. And produces a lightweight firearm. Oh my god, he's full! Oh shit! Oh man, he is. That is a fucking sound effect. He drops a paper cartridge into the barrel, separates the scouring stick, and gives the cartridge five tucks. That's a Kajil A990. Arm stints mass produced muzzle loader. 
Esoteric Frugal, one of the most common firearms in the world. Holy shit, he's ready. Shoot that motherfucker down. He steps back and assumes the position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches, his finger is on the trigger. Easy does it, partner. He's gonna fucking met. Oh! The kid's voice is drying out and it's true about that echoes out of the wall of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke slowly bursts away and says to himself, God damn it. He feels bad about it. About his eyes mostly. About having bad eyesight. Probably from a younger age. Whatever you do, do not console him. Fucking idiot. Asshole. Two could have hit it easy. Um... Well, it said not to console him. Um, what now? I'd say it's beginning uh, to look unlikely we can get him down without assistance. Um, I can try and shoot him down myself. Maybe we could ask for help in the harbor. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appear to be suspects in the case. It seems like a dangerous route to go around. Uh, all right. I'll, I'll shoot him down myself. It's, it's bad as it is. Us shooting firearms like punks here. He pauses then shrugs. Go ahead. I'm not stopping you. Just don't hit the victim. I'm going to need your gun for this. They only have one gun. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Ooh, oops. Uh oh. That's not good. This is the sorriest pair of pigs Kuno's ever seen. Officer White, do we only have one gun? He asks. Carefully loading his pistol. Let they. Remember when I told you I don't have any badge or uniform when I woke up? I don't have a gun either. There's the timer. I'll be back in a second. 